providing access to clean water, a multidisciplinary approach. Lack of clean water is responsible for more deaths in the world than war. About one out of every six people living today do not have adequate access to water and more than double that number lack basic sanitation for which water is needed. Canada has plenty of water, far more than its people need, while the Middle East and Northern Africa, just to name two of many, suffer from perpetual shortages. Across the world, water stress levels remain safe at 18.6% in 2019. However, Southern Asia and Central Asia registered high levels of water stress at over 75%, whereas Northern Africa registered a critical water stress of over 100%. This is a global issue affecting hundreds of millions of people around the world. Therefore, today we will be proposing a potential solution that will involve the collaboration of non-engineering and engineering disciplines, including civil engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, as well as sociology and global health. From digging wells to building dams, civil engineers have historically been the prime providers of methods for meeting the water supply and quality needs of society. Typically for these infrastructure projects, they need to plan new structures around existing framework and geography. In addition to strictly constructing the infrastructure used to transport clean, wa clean water and wastewater, Civil engineering is used in the processes of desalination, agriculture irrigation technology, pure PUR water purifying sachet developed by PNG, water distillation tablets, and small decentralized distillation units, just to name a few. Although other engineering spheres of expertise are typically in charge of developing the aforementioned technologies, civil engineers are tasked with distributing such technologies so that populations have equitable access. This coordination between development and distribution is one way where engineers of different disciplines must communicate with each other. Further, identifying the needs the areas that need clean water access is where civil engineers must collaborate with sociologists and nonprofit organizations to deliver fresh water to the areas that need it the most. In addition, some other systems that can be built to help, help give communities access to clean water include chlorination pumps, solar pumping systems, and rainwater collection. These devices are all shown in the pictures here. All of these systems require mechanical engineers to design plans to be built and installed on location. Additionally, clean water access can be improved by reducing water waste and overall water use. By developing more efficient irrigation technology for agricultural purposes, less water will be used, so there will be more water available. Developing this technology requires the work of a mechanical engineer. Additionally, mechanical engineers are also needed in order to support other types of engineers, as mentioned, civil and chemical, to help design and test the products for all of the infrastructure that they create. Chemical engineers also play an important role in providing access to clean water. Indeed, they are needed to design and develop chemical and physical unit operations and the overall process needed to purify water. This water purification could involve removing natural contaminants like bacteria or treating and recycling wastewater. They control, monitor, and maintain the equipment and treatment processes and wastewater treatment plants from industries, and on this slide, there's also an example of a water treatment flow chart, and these flow charts are also part of the chemical engineering role. Providing clean water to less fortunate people is a mission. Uncontaminated water is essential to our lives, and cleaning unsanitary reservoirs helps us maintain a healthier lifestyle, a better quality of life, and aids in preventing, first of all, allergic skin reactions, nutrient imbalances that can cause an upset stomach. Also, the presence of arsenic, especially near factories, can cause rapid death if, the consum if consumed at high concentrations. Moreover, fluoride in excess that comes from the use of pesticides. Furthermore, cleaning the water is not enough. The people should be educated and the water quality regularly checked. And it should not be private companies that clean water because this pushes 
the poorer towards dirtier water. Our mission shouldn't only be processing dirty water, but also uh, preserving the, the available clean water. To address the clean water crisis on a global scale, we saw how imperative it was for the many engineering and non-engineering disciplines to work together. These complicated solutions cannot be produced by one discipline alone, which proves the importance of being able to collaborate with others to work towards a shared goal.